fuck is it? Is it finally here? Mail day. I already fucking opened the box, did the filming and everything, but I fucked up. So here we are doing another fucking video. Uh, this is the Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday pre-order bundle. Uh, I've also got some other shit coming from them, but I guess because some of it's a pre-order or whatever, it's coming later. Don't fucking know, but it's coming. Um, this also includes the missing slip covers from, I think it was the September bundle. And that's good because I already slipped those flicks into the main VS shelf and forgot which titles they were instead of keeping them in my to watch bundle. Oopsie. Anyways, let's start with those slips. We've got Arnold. Curse of the Screaming Dead. I fucking love this slip. Just love the color tone to it. The art's fucking dope. Just a fucking sick looking cover. Uh, up next is the Evil Judgment slip. This is a cool one too with the shiny embossed letters and then like the drop shadow looks fucking sick and that throat slit giving me high hopes for that movie and finally out of the slips we've got ghost nursing i can't believe i haven't even thrown this on yet because this looks fucking wild all right there's the old slippy slips taken care of now Fuck off. On Tuesday bundle. Up first, Vinegar Syndrome Lost Picture Show. This is a fucking chunky set. Uh, 10 movies, I believe. Barbara, Las Vegas Strangler, Last American Hobos, Voodoo, Heartbeat, What's Love, Beware, Black Widow, Deep Inside, Rare Blue Apes, Red Midnight, Violated. Uh, this is a mishmash of genres. Uh, I know there is some kind of rape revenge flick in here, and I am fucking stoked to find it. Huge. Fucking huge. So fucking cool, though. Panoramic style. <laughs> this is insane. The amount of work this must have taken to put together. just go fucking nuts with their fucking special editions and everything and I love it uh, there's the first book not gonna dive too much into it because I heard there may be spoilers in the books there's also a documentary that has uh, some spoilers so from everything I've read you get this set save the documentary for last there's the First pack, three discs with Barbara, Las Vegas Strangler, Last American Hobos, Voodoo Heartbeat, and What's Love. Discs are done up like film reels or uh, canisters. Um, and the inside, as you see, is like 
ads from newspapers. Fucking dope. Titties with tassels. Oops. Oh, yeah, and the fucking slipcover. Dumbass. Fuck. You got Jesus on a cross. I got titties, guns, and knives. Fucking insane set. Oh, yeah. When the fuck? This one ranges from 1968 to 1987. 423 minutes combined for all the features. Or all the movies, not features. Am I having so much fucking difficulty today? There's set, or the first half of this set, and now on to the second half. Another book, more titties. This dude's got a crown of thorns on, so maybe Jesus is getting his fuck on. Good for you, Jesus, Mr. Jesus. Oh, we got a devil and a, a pretty lady there. What the fuck's happening here? We got a dude who looks like he's getting stabbed or fucking blowing the load of his life. And then we got, like, some dude in a car with a giant fucking monkey. I don't fucking know. And this one has Beware, Black Widow, Deep Inside, Rare Blue Apes, Red Midnight, and Violated. 1966 through to 1974 and a combined runtime of 420. <laughs> uh, disc art's the same and more fucking uh, adverts on the inside. Yeah, I already showed the booklet there. So there's that set. Fucking awesome. This is going to be a fun, fun deep dive. Uh, it'll probably have to wait till next year when I've got more time to just fucking binge a lot of shit. I am debating on doing the subscription again. Uh, last time I did that was, I remember if I did the halfway sub in 2018 or 2019, but there was some winners, there was a lot of stinkers, but whatever the fuck. It still saves money. You're, I'm going to buy this shit regardless, so may as well save a bit of money. All right, there's that. Up next we have... The Prophecy 4K box set 1, 2, and 3 with Christopher fucking walking. And this has got that diagonal split box. Fucking love it. Now we got the slip inside the slip. I've never seen these. I've always seen the first one in the video store. I didn't really know there was three of the fuckers but whatever they're newer than i thought 95 98 and 2000 what the fuck <laughs> okay uh disc one two and three Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, that was scary for a second. <laughs> I thought they gave me dupes of the first movie, but that's the 4K of the first one. The 4K of 2 and 3, and then the Blu-ray of 1, and the Blu-ray of 2 and 3. Okay. 
Phew. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another thing. Uh, going back to the first set, the Lost Picture Show. I did see people mentioning that, or not people. I saw one person in the VS group say that their set contained two copies of the the first set with the first five movies instead of having all ten. So make sure if you get it, open it up and at least just check instead of just throwing it on the shelf. Check your fucking packages, folks. Just in case there's a bit of a fuck up. Shit happens. Um, and speaking of shit happens, this is the first time when FedEx said I was going to have it that I fucking got it without any delays. So they're finally stepping their game up. FedEx, not VS. Um, this one here, Fatal Games. I saw some people getting an extra slip cover for it for the donation they did back in April. I did that same $10 donation, but I don't have the slip cover. Maybe it'll be packaged with the extra shit that I've ordered. I don't know, but it is what it is. Honestly, this cover looks a lot better anyways. Uh, I've already, uh, already flipped the other cover during the previous video that I fucked up on, but there's the Fatal Games slip cover. Looks promising. Never heard of this fucking movie until they showed they showed it for the bundle, but America's Olympic hopefuls are competing in the Fatal Games. Cool little impalement going on there. And the discard. I'll save that one for last. Uh, let's jump to the VSU. Daryl. Data analyzing robot youth life form. I don't know a fucking thing about this. I know it ain't a fucking horror movie, though. And it got your, your typical VSU killer magnet box thing. I can't remember what they call it. And at least it's showing explosions and shit, so here's hoping it's good. It's the big old essay. He can fly a jet, race a car, and outsmart a computer. The government created him, and now they want him destroyed. Sucks for him. And there's the slip. That the green screen key is going to fucking destroy. But whatever. That same slip will be right there in all its yellow glory. Uh, da, 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 da. Save that for last, like I said. This one here was another one of the secret titles. Another one I know fuck all about, but a lot of people were fucking stoked for it. And going by the few images, I'm fucking stoked for it too. The Black Room. Like some perverted shit. This is another one I've already flipped the cover art on. Uh, cause the alt cover is fucking awesome. Look at that. Granted, the slip cover artwork is dope too. But God damn. Fucking straight out of the 80s. 1981. I don't even remember what the fuck this was about. Looking to inject a little more excitement into his life, family man Larry seizes the opportunity when he happens across a newspaper advert for a unique and exotic room for rent in a mansion in the Hollywood Hills. The room, draped in black sheets and filled with candles, pillows, and mirrors, seems to be the ideal place in which to carry out his extramarital affairs, which Larry promptly does, first picking up a young college girl and later a prostitute. 
The mysterious owners of the property, siblings Jason and Bridget, seem more than happy to accommodate the wayward husband, dutifully preparing the room for each visit. But what Larry doesn't realize is that Jason is deathly in need of regular blood transfusions, and the pair have been abducting each of Larry's carnal conquests to use as victims in Jason's deadly laboratory. Holy fuck, that sounds awesome. And last but not least is one I haven't seen in fucking years. Existence. I had no idea that it was a fucking David Cronenberg movie, so I ain't a fan of his normally. I like this and I liked The Fly, but everything else of his has put me to fucking sleep. We got a booklet. Basically, it got the VSU treatment, but without the, the thicker box. The book. And then there's the slip. Fucking love that controller. And there's the disc art. And that's going to wrap up this unboxing, folks. Thanks for fucking watching. Stay fucking sleazy. Peace.